In this video, we'll take some time to introduce a special subtype of surface called a control surface that only apply to a wing. The type is found here under the wing in the drop down menu. You can add as many as you like. I've already added three here as an example uh, of flaps. We've got some ailerons and some slats. So let's dive in a bit and talk about the behavior of these. If we zoom in a bit here, you can see that the positive direction of rotation for these control surfaces are illustrated here by these circles and arrows. And so because the right hand side of this wing is the positive U direction, the positive direction rotation for trailing edge flaps and ailerons is trailing edge down and for slats, it's leading edge up. The symmetric copies of these subsurfaces on the other side or surface one of this wing are effectively flipped about the X axis. So in this case, it's trailing edge up or leading edge down. So they behave a lot like ailerons. You want the direction of rotation to be opposite of the other side. So you can do something like a roll. For a flap, because these direction of rotation are slightly different, in something like VSP Aero, you'll set the gains of, say, the left-hand side to be negative one. That will cause them both to rotate in the same direction. But we can get into that a bit more in a, a different video. But just wanted to mention that that behavior was there. With the parameters themselves, you can tag inside or outside these just like you can with, say, an ellipse or a rectangle component. But you can also set things to, say, only the upper surface. Notice that that axis of rotation jumped up here and we're only tagged on the upper surface of the wing. Similarly, you can set it to be lower and it drops it down to the lower surface. By default, though, we use both. And if you want to create something like a slat, that's what this leading edge button is for. So by activating that button, it snaps it to the leading edge and builds the control surface about that. Your cordwise is set down here in this box where you can adjust, say, the length to cord ratio of this. You can adjust a physical length. You can make it constant or not, which we'll go into a bit more detail in another video. And you can also control the surface end angles. So let's jump to a top view and take a look at how the default behavior is set. And by default, these end angles are defined so that they're aligned with, say, the x-axis or the flow direction. You can choose to alter these, which we'll cover in a different video, but just note that the default behavior is to have these aligned with the flow. So that serves as a bit of an introduction to control surfaces. Again, in a follow-up video, we're going to talk about some more of these nuanced controls and how the behavior changes somewhat. 